what's going on guys my name is Zed and welcome back to Clash TV so today guys we are going to be playing inside of this heal draft challenge and hopefully we get 12 wins inside of challenge and as you can see I am currently at 6 wins and 1 loss so I am going to get 10 heal spell first so first I am going to collect this 10 heal spell then we are going to hop into a battle and if we win that battle we are going to get the giant chest so first let's collect our 10 heal spell this heal spell will maybe get a heal spell to level 3 so now I'm gonna hop into a battle and hopefully we win that battle so in my choose I'm just gonna choose the battle ram a goblin barrel because and the ice wizard so I'm just giving out the heal spells because I don't really know how to use the heal spell till now so I might just give it away so we got pretty good cards in our draft so let's see what he gave me so he gave me a witch and arrows so I'm just gonna give him, hit him with a good luck and I'm just gonna drop my goblin barrel let's see what he has for my goblin barrel maybe he has the log no he has a poison so maybe he choose arrows instead of poison so now I'm gonna drop my battle ram as soon as the poison is over no not gonna drop my battle ram I'm just gonna drop a wizard at the back ice wizard now I'm gonna drop a battle ram and a predictive arrows so that was a really waste of arrows but I think my battle ram is gonna reach to a tower and that battle ram is gonna do so much damage it's also damaging his electro wizard which is really good so his tower is all the way down to 1600 HP but he he actually dropped a wow he also healed his lava hound so I'm just gonna drop the witch which is gonna take out the electro wizard and now the witch is gonna target his lava hound and lava hound is just gonna pop so lava hound did a pretty good amount of damage to my tower so now I'm gonna drop my battle ram here so that battle ram is in poison so hopefully it connects no it's not gonna connect but, but my one barbarian is gonna reach to his tower and he's gonna slap that tower away so his tower is all the way down to 700 hp now i'm gonna drop my princess with some chip damage to his tower so he's tornado he's gonna tornado me and that's gonna kill my princess very easily so his tower is all the way down to 1600 hp so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop hmm so let's see yes I'm gonna drop my minions at the back then I'm gonna drop the goblin barrel on his pump maybe not the best play but let's see if he counters it or not so he's gonna drop some spear goblins and that's gonna work out perfectly so my minions are just gonna take out his right tower and now I'm gonna he yeah, actually drop his uh lava hound there so my so I drop my battle run battle ram is gonna connect to his tower and the battle ram is gonna do so much damage he's gonna tornado me but that will be enough for me so i'm just gonna grab the spear goblins otherwise they would have taken out my witch so now i'm gonna drop one more battle ram and that battle ram is should battle ram should connect but i don't think that battle ram is gonna connect so i'm just gonna arrow his all his lava pups there and he is gonna turn it to me again but I'm just gonna drop one more goblin barrel he's gonna give me a crank face because he knows that he's gonna lose only 16 seconds left in the match and that's over for him so I'm just gonna drop the ice wizard so I really want to take his left tower too so I'm really trying hard but only 6 seconds left we are not gonna do that much damage in 3 seconds so that's it so we are just gonna win this battle very easily so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the giant chest and hopefully get some good cards in it no wait we get the giant chest at 8 wins so I'll be right back when I get the giant chest so guys currently I am at 7 wins if I win this one I'm gonna get a giant chest so in this manner I'm just gonna drop my ice golem to kite away his mini pekka and then gonna drop a lumberjack on his wizard so the wizard is still targeting on my tower he did a little bit of damage for he dropped a heal spell there i think that was a mistake maybe he dropped that for his mini pekka but that mini pekka was not even targeting that heal spell so he's giving me a crying face and now i'm gonna take out his dark goblin with my some goblins but that 
that goblin is gonna do so much work on it, my furnace then gonna drop a goblin hut there so as you can see the tesla he dropped a tesla placement was really bad that's why the furnace hit him twice the fire spirit both of the fire spirits hit actually so this time only one furnace fire spirit is gonna hit and that's gonna take out his tesla so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drop my ice golem at the back then then maybe I drop a lumberjack behind my ice golem and so he also have elite barbarians so i'm just gonna log him away he's gonna drop a heal spell but still he's gonna miss it because i dropped the log there so my lumberjack is gonna chip his tower all the way down to 1200 hp and spear goblins are gonna take out his tower too so i'm just gonna arrow his that goblin because that's really annoying to deal with so his tower is all the way down to 700 hp now i'm gonna drop one more goblin hut there and that goblin hut should do some more damage i'm just gonna give him a thumbs up because he he only gave me a lot of buildings and that's why i built up this for or this is called a building deck so anyway i'm gonna drop some goblins at the back now and maybe one more furnace then gonna drop the log to make sure everything goes to the tower so now look my three fire spells are actually gonna hit to his tower he's gonna drop eight barbarian on the other side i'm gonna drop my electro wizard and that electro wizard should be able to take it out and i also drop a electro not the electro wizard the ice golem to keep my electro wizard alive but that other goblin is gonna take my electro wizard down and i'm gonna build up a really big push on the right side maybe we are gonna take out his right tower too so his mini pekka and his wizard is actually gonna come all the way to my hmm. so now i'm gonna drop my electro wizard to take out his wizard and we're gonna drop a bm furnace on his map and also a goblin hut so i don't think he can win now maybe he can't i can even i can't even tree crown him now So let's open our giant chest and hopefully get some good cards in it. I'm really expecting some musketeers or maybe knights. So let's see what we get in it. So we are going to get a good amount of gold, uh, a rage spell, 25 ice golem, really good and zaps. Which is not that bad because I can now upgrade my zaps to tournament standards. So now if I win two more battles, I'm going to get 25,000 gold, which will be really awesome. So I'll be right back when. So I actually lost my last battle after winning the giant chest. So let's see what we get in this chest. So we are gonna get a good amount of gold, 4000 gold actually that's really good. Some musketeers, valkyries, mm, that goblins maybe that just is terrible because I don't use any cards. So anyway I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.